lines are now open. So get for it. Oh, that one's good for you. Like jelly. <laughs> like jelly. And since your show went out on TV earlier in the week, what's what's the response been like from the public? Oh, it's just been it's been like a it's like I'm on a on a roller coaster ride, really. It's like on a on a bus. I, I just don't want to get off that bus. I don't want that stop. That bus is going to well, the judge is lucky last time, he doesn't want to get off this bus that's on a roller coaster. What do you think of him now? <laughs> very, very, very few things leave me speechless. You're one of them, Paul, I can tell you. Um, when, I, when, I signed, when, I, when I signed up to do this show, uh, I remember talking to Simon, and we both shared this sort of vision of finding somebody who was doing an ordinary job, very unassuming, quietly had an amazing talent, and we could provide them with the platform to just show the world what they can do. And you're that guy. You, uh, you've managed to make me cry again. <laughs> I've turned into a wreck again. And I don't want to be dramatic, and I'm not trying to get any kind of sob story here, but my Granddad passed away this week, and he would have voted for you, so I vote for you on behalf of him. You were fantastic. Paul, you know, I don't know what it is about you, but I just, every time you come on, I want you to do well, and you just did again. It was magic. Fantastic comments, what do you say about that? I feel like I'm still dreaming. <laughs> <laughs> well, if, if you want to see Paul in the Britain's Got Talent final, the Lions have just called them. The first act's going through to the final of Britain's Got Talent is...